Hey, this is Russell, KV4S, Kilo Victor 4 Sierra. I am, uh, I had won the um, Ham Radio Concepts December Contest where Eric uh, KJ4YZI was giving away uh, three pieces of equipment, an antenna, a radio, and a gift card. And uh, the first piece to come in was the Yezu FT25R radio. And I'm going to do a quick unboxing of that and let you see what it's about. So as you can see, I haven't even taken it out of the out of the shipping information. So I'm going to go ahead and open it live. Let's see what we got here. Minor editing is done. I usually just pause the video. I don't have any real fancy equipment here. So uh, there's the uh, Yezu box. As usual, I really like how Yezu packages their equipment. I've had several radios from them over the years, and they always do a great job. So the uh, box was much smaller than the shipping box, but that's probably normal. And of course, I do not have a <laughs> camera stand, so this is even shakier than probably everybody else's out there. Of course, we've got our quick start, regular manual, things you expect to see in the uh, packaging material, some information about the rechargeable battery, we've got the radio itself with the accessories. <coughs> Let's see what we got. Wow, impressive. It's got a nice feeling PTT button. It sticks out a little bit, but um, I actually think that feels pretty good in the hand. It's got your speaker mic connections. Looks like some customizable buttons down here. They don't have uh, labels. FT25. This is the charging cable unpackaged. It's got a um, just a standard connector on the back. It's not a USB or USB C. It's uh, I guess a proprietary. Well, not really proprietary, but um, I see a lot of these on the uh, charging packs to make them more, a little bit more universal uh, for swapping out um, batteries. What's left after taking out the charging cradle is the uh, power adapter and the belt clip and the antennas in the smaller box on the left. Okay, now I'm down to the uh, battery and the antenna piece. So uh, next piece is to assemble it all. It's got a SMA male connector at the base. The antenna is SMA female. The belt clip is on the outside of the battery, or not attached to the battery, which is a, a better design to me. It makes it easier to swap your batteries out. I've noticed even some of the later ICOMs I've gotten is the opposite of that. They put the belt clip on the battery. Uh, they made it slideable though. Uh, that makes it a little bit easier to swap them, but um, I think I'm more of a fan of this design. It's got a little notch here to uh, slide out and pop the battery out. That's a pretty nice design. Still feels really good even with the battery. This is not the larger battery that you can order separately, but the one that comes with the radio. It's a little odd in this hand, but uh, it feels great if you're using it in your right hand. So that'll take a little bit of getting used to, but nothing, nothing major. It's a mil spec. And uh, I think it's got 9.5 battery hours of operational battery time. That's great compared to a lot of the HTs I've had in the past from a little over a decade ago. You probably couldn't get an hour, <laughs> maybe two, uh, especially on transmit with uh, the batteries. I've, they've come a long way with the battery technology for, for handhelds now. All right, fully assembled radio. 
belt clip on the back. So I'll get into, I may do another video on programming it. Uh, it just depends on how complicated it is. But, um, for single band radio, single purpose, rugged, can take it anywhere. I'm a fan. KV4S, we'll talk to y'all next time.